Now, I'm going to be going over how much XRP you should own in 2022 to become a millionaire. Well, this is an interesting question, and personally, I own well over 200k coins, so I do believe in the project long term. The first thing I want to do is go over some of the reasons it's an attractive investment at its current price and what problem XRP is trying to solve. Just remember, guys, none of this is financial advice and it's just my opinion. Okay, so the first reason to get into Ripple XRP is that it's very affordable at its current price of around 80 cents per coin at the time of this video. In other words, it's cheap compared to its previous high level in 2018. You can pick up a serious amount of XRP for less than a few hundred dollars. Now, XRP's all-time high was $3.80 back in 2018, and some market analysts believe it's going to push beyond the 1,000 barrier within the next 10 years. Now, personally, I would just be happy if it broke its all old all-time highs and then hit 10 or 11 bucks, which I think is very possible and probable. Now, given its low price and increasingly mainstream appeal, snapping up some XRP is a relatively low-risk option with the potential for a big return on investment. And you really need to understand that. Worst case is that, in my opinion, it's going to drop back down to 50 cents or we're just going to shoot up from here, which is the more likely thing to happen. Now, the other thing about Ripple is that it solves problems for large financial institutions. It also speeds up the flow of capital, which is excellent for the economy. But Ripple could work for small business owners too if it becomes widely adopted, which would be amazing. Now, with a current market cap of around $30 billion, uh, Ripple XRP is in the top 10 of all cryptos, and it's been that way for a few years. Now, a large market cap is a strong sign of investor confidence, and it makes the asset more resistant to volatile market cycles or dips. Now, in crypto, obviously, we have these big crashes and dips, but you will notice that XRP has been able to hold its own. Now, the last thing I really want to talk about here is that Ripple isn't just another cryptocurrency. Now, Ripple XRP, and more specifically, Ripple, the company, uh, is got 500 full-time employees, including public relations and marketing specialists who promote the technology to banks, investors, new users, and the public. They have over 200 plus partnerships right now. And the reason XRP, the price has been suppressed is because of this whole SEC lawsuit, which will come to an end by the time of March 2022. So back to the question of how much XRP you should own in 2022 to become a millionaire, I honestly feel like the minimum amount is 10,000 coins. So to become a millionaire, you would need XRP to hit $100 which might seem a little far-fetched, but if you hold on to the coin long enough in the next you know, two or three years, it's cryptocurrency, guys. You don't know what's going to happen, right? Um, that is the minimum. And of course, I wanted to show you I own some of it here on Uphold, which is a good exchange for buying it. And it is one of the only right now in the US where you can get this coin. If you guys wanted to learn more about Uphold, I will have some bonus sign-up and resource links in the description. Okay, and I uh, just wanted to pull up the price one more time, and we had XRP dip below a dollar it had been hovering there for like the last couple of months but we're back under one at 80 cents it is a steal to get into xrp and honestly i wish i could buy some more right now uh, but my money is tied up in some other coins and projects and owning over 200k coins i feel like you know how much more do i need right 250 would be nice but uh i'm not going to get too greedy with it and yeah and the other thing i wanted to say too a coin that has a strong correlation with XRP is XLM, which is also pretty undervalued in my opinion from where it's at. XLM is a banking coin similar to XRP, but it's also for individual users. They've got some strong partnerships, so it is a coin I would look into as well. All-time high in that coin I think was like 90 cents. Let me pull it up quickly here. And it's a coin that's been in like the top 20, top 30 for the last few years as well. And yeah, if you wanted to diversify a little bit, maybe put 80% in XRP, 20% in XLM. A lot of people have done that. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this. You know, if you're a part of the XRP army, feel free to comment below. I also want to know your thoughts on this, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next crypto video.